Welcome back to my channel. I've literally got to where I am. And I think I put like a Pachenko or something. I can't remember what the name of it is. And I've had that little bass. I wasn't expecting anything uh, at the moment. I thought I'd have a few casts. Just to get the feel of using different lures now. But what I'm gonna quickly do, and I'll get this bass back. Oh, before I get stabbed. There he goes. But today, it's Friday. I've come down for a split session today. I've come back down to the Holes Bay. I'm just getting into this lure fishing. I'm absolutely loving it. So what I'm doing today is I've come down for a couple of hours this afternoon and then I'm back down here tonight with my son for a lure session. I'll give you a quick look where I am. Basically, we're gonna walk all the way around and fish all the way up to the bridge. That's the plan. But some of you don't know, this is the second biggest harbour, natural harbour in the world. And this is my favourite place to spend the majority of my time. Right, today, you've seen it all before. I'll be using the Black Rock Bass Attack, nine foot, 12 to 42 gram on the Callisto ZF 30 reel, 14 pound braid. And what I've got is I've got it down to a fluoro carb, but you have to bear with me guys, because I'm one handed at the moment, down to oh, half a meter of thoro car a thoro carbon, fluoro carbon, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's down to a Pachenko. And I saw that bass take it on the top of the water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my chest cam on. Let's see if we can get footage. Right, I literally go for my third cast. Quite chuffed to literally start that session with a bass. Right. That's beautifully gone out. I actually saw that bass. I'm actually learning this technique by watching YouTube videos. So it's a surface layer, and I'm watching it. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on the GoPro. But I'm literally waggling it across the top of the water. And I actually saw that bass come up twice. And on the second time, it took it. It's only a small one. But at the end of the day, I'm learning. The big ones will come in time, I'm sure. Let's go out for another cast. Well, I know what happened. I'll turn the camera off. But you'd have to excuse, there's quite a lot of road noise because I've got a road right at the back of me. But what I'm doing is a slight little kick to the left on the rod. And I'm watching that there uh, skip the water, literally, like an injured fish. And the action is absolutely brilliant. I've just watched two bass come up for the lure and I missed both. So what I'm doing is just put the camera on. All I'm doing is a little flip left of, left of the rod just to get the bounce in the rod. And it's disturbing the water really nicely. It seems to be working because the bass have been come up trying to whack the lure. I've been watching them come up. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm catching, so it's working. Be nice to see if we can get a biggie out of here today. But I am here for a double session today, so I will be back down here later tonight. Obviously, when the water's a lot higher up. Yeah, see, I saw no take on that time. Apart from a bit of weed I just got hooked in. Let's get that bit of weed off. But I've got wind from left to right, so what I'm doing is I'm casting it down to the right. Because what's happening is my braid's bowing 
and I can't really see the lure working whereas now I can see the lure working I, I do see a lot of anglers now with lure fishing um, I've only been doing it for what just over a month like this and I'm absolutely loving it you haven't got the expense of bait anything like that but that lure is working beautiful absolutely beautiful right let's get this one out a bit deeper that's a bit better oh yes that's better but i'm loving this this black rock i was out the other night and the bite detection every whack i was getting i could feel it i could feel a fish whacking the lure and they're not major money they're not big money at all so if you're in a market for a lure rod or lures check out black rock fish zone but since i put the camera on there's there's no action at all always the way as soon as you get the camera going but what i'll do is i won't record too much of doing this i'll wait till we get another fish on hopefully and i'll get the footage as that comes in right what i've done I've put the radio mics on. I've had loads of takes, but not landed them. I'm actually watching the bass come up as I'm doing that lure. But all I'm doing is now I've got the GoPro over there. I've just given it a gentle wrist flick to the left. And it seems to be working. The bass are chasing the lure. I've actually watched, physically watched them come up. But obviously I've got a lot of road noise behind me, so I've had to put the, the radio mics on for now. But I've still got the Pachenko on. And what I'll do is I'll give it another five, ten minutes and I'll change it to something else. And we'll give those a go. This is all a learning curve for me. So I'm hoping a lot of new people that are taking up their fishing as well will watch this. A total amateur doing this and I'm producing. Maybe not the biggest fish, but I'm catching and it's, it really is fun. And you're not running around chasing bait buying bait it's, it's all it's all quite cheap I'm just watching this lure yeah no, I've just missed the bass then I've just watched the bass come up right behind it absolutely brilliant this is absolutely brilliant fun Obviously there is a footpath behind, so you have got to be a little bit careful. You don't stand back in that path because the push bites fly down, down here. But like I say, all I'm doing is a little rip, uh, a wrist flick to the left. Be nice to catch one on camera. But that was right at the shoreline. The bass come up. Oh, there's a seagull. There's a seagull chasing it. Oh no, he's gone. I had to fly that one in. There's a seagull chasing that one. So if the seagulls are chasing it, thinking it's a fish, I'm doing something right. But like I say, I'm getting wind from left to right. So what I'm doing is I'm casting down a tide, rather than the tide, the tide's just running up, some real slow run up today. And when I got here, there was, oh, there was a take. Oh, there was, oh, Rick. Oh, no, I lost it. Two takes. Oh, what a shame. Let's get that lure back in. Let's get back out. What an absolute shame. I felt that take that twice. Two good takes. But what I'm doing must be working. 
because I'm actually getting the takes now. I can see that lure working right across the top of the water. And it definitely looks like an injured fish trying to swim. Let's see if we can get a bass on the camera. But what I'll probably do is turn the camera off in a minute. And hopefully I can get one on and get it in and switch the camera on at the same time. I'll give it one more go. But don't forget, smash that like, smash that subscribe. It really does help my channel massively. I'm out here trying. I'm an amateur angler like a lot of people. Yes, I've had a lot, I've fished for a long time on the beaches. But this is a whole new learning curve, absolutely massive learning curve. But what I might do in a minute, I might change up the lure and I'll go back to a drift shad, which has got the red head and the white body. Yeah, nothing on that time. So what I'll do, I'm gonna change this one and then we'll change it for a drift shad. It's quite nice having these stat links, it's just so quick just to pop it off. Having big hands don't help because they're really tiny. But there we go. I'm going to change this one up. I'll leave the radio mics on. As soon as I get a fish, hopefully I can get the clutch going, press play on the camera and we can get into a fish. We've got a little fish on, I think. It's not big. He's only a small one. Yeah, he's only a tiddler. Yeah, he's only a small one. So the lure's as big as the bass, look at that. That's unbelievable what a bass will take. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Right, let's get him off and we'll pop this back. Look at the lure size compared to that bass. That is unbelievable. I'll get a nice little, little picture of that. That's unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna get this hand hooked carefully and we'll get this straight back. Literally, as soon as I put that one back, we got ourselves into another little bass there. Another little bass coming up. I know the big ones are here, but it's, it's, it's getting through them. We're not on the best tide neither. But look at that. This is so much enjoyment, it's untrue. Another one. They ain't the biggest guys. But this is fun learning and I'm learning and I'm happy catching. That's what it's all about. Let's gently get this one off without getting spiked. Just be careful of, there's two sets of hooks on that there. Let me just lie him down, I'll grab hold of him. And very gently, Oh, I'll get the pliers out for that one, guys. Right, I've had quite a few small bass out so far. Um, they've all been small, but I've changed up now to another one with the ball bearings in there. I think these are Pachenkos or they're Pachenko copies. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but if you know, guys, do put it in the comments. I'm not going to stay much longer now. I had a couple of hours out. I'm just get that whip out the line. I've had a couple of hours out, and obviously I will be back tonight with my son. So we will be fishing the last bit of runoff tonight, because obviously it's a neat tide, so it's a really slow run up. But I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed this afternoon just learning. And I've been catching, yes, they've not been the biggest fish. But I'm catching, so it's working. 
I, like I say, I, I do know the big bass are about. There's a lot of big bass about. So I'll keep going until I actually hit into good bass. But this is all a big learning curve for me, massive learning curve for me and my son as well. My son's never done this before. So when we come back tonight, hopefully one of us can get a good sized bass out, either a 42 cent or bigger. But I'm gonna make that my last cast, I reckon. I say that every time and then I just flick it out again. As soon as you see the bass come out of the water to strike the lure. But this is, this is the nice thing about not bait, not bait fishing. You can, um, you can actually see the fish take the lure. You're working for that fish. Not just dumping bait there and waiting. You're physically working. And I'll tell you, this rod, I've been here for about two hours now. And I've not got arm make, absolutely no arm make at all. I've only got a flick of the wrist and the rod is working. And the recovery rate is, is second to none, it really is. But if you are looking into lure fishing, there's three different weights of lure rods from Black Rock. Um, I've got the nine foot, which is the biggest one. I'll probably now go and purchase the lighter one and the smaller, I think it's eight, six, I think it is. But I'm loving these Black Rocks. Absolutely loving them. Right, I'm gonna make that one my last, guys. And then I'll be back with my son. for another session. The old braids whipped up and out a little bit. Right, let's pack up, let's head home, and I'll catch you guys tonight. Get smaller lures and make them look bigger. Right, here we are. We've come back down with my son. My son's fourth or fifth cast, and he's got himself a nice bass. Well, not massive, but it's his first one. Just got to watch the hooks. Yeah, trebles. But yeah, that's his first bass. And I've come down. And I've pulled a little one in as well. <laughs> we've only been fishing for about five minutes. So we're going to get these off and we'll pop them straight back. <laughs> there he is. That's his very first law caught bass. He does. Yeah, well done, John. You have to excuse the brave noise, guys. I've got the microphones plugged in. Right, it's gonna drop that back. But look at the look at it, it's flatto, absolutely flatto. My son's just gonna pop this one back. As always, if you're walking on rocks, just be very careful. These are not wet, so he's chuffed a bit for that. There he goes. He does. Right, well, what we've done now is we've moved location around to the RNLI. We're only gonna give it half an hour here. Um, it just went dead around the other side. Nothing was chasing it on the water. But it's nice to see my son actually catch his first one, which is really good. So we're setting up here now. We'll give it half an hour and then we'll see if anything comes out. If not, we're gonna call it a day. I'm happy with what's happened today. And it's been brilliant getting these layers out. I don't know how long we're going to be staying here for. Look at the May rot down this end. It is absolutely awful. It's everywhere. All the way, all the way out there. It's just like a bed of it. I thought we might have been alright down this way, but yeah, this, this May rot's absolutely awful. It's not it's not good at all. I'll probably go have a cut the car, so we'll probably knock it on the head. Um it's, there's just too much weed. I thought we'd come down this way because I've had a few bass from here before on bait. There's just a little channel that runs in here. It's, it's, it's basically shut off down the end. So when the weed does come in, it's got nowhere to go and it just backs up like it is now, just rots. So every cast, 
is weed, which isn't good. But we've had a few small bass out. I'm happy with today. I've had a few hours by myself. I've had a bit of time with my son as well, which is always nice. He's had his first bass, so yeah, I'm absolutely well made up with that. But yeah, this weed is not good. And like I say, we are on a neat tide. There's, a, there's no movement, it's, it's slow all night. But yeah, this weed isn't good. Let's get one more cast. No, I think we're gonna knock it on the head, I think. But absolutely loving the bass attack. Absolutely loving it. The action on the tip, you can feel every single hit, every tap, absolutely brilliant. So, if you're out looking for rods like the beach rods on my channel, check out Fish Zone Black Rock. The prices are absolutely brilliant. Right, big thanks for watching, guys. We're going to call it a day. The weed's just awful down this end. I'm not going to bother going back up. We've had an hour or so out. It's been enjoyable. So yeah, they're not the biggest bass, but it's about catching and that's what we've been doing. Fishing on the South Coast has been a bit poor lately. So I'm happy to get anything to be fair. So don't forget, like, subscribe guys. Catch you on the next one. See you soon.